Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. First of all, I want to thank Mr. Jonathan Clack for responding to my series of videos, which were a response to his series of videos about Mystery Babylon. And I hope we can continue this debate. There are a few mistakes in your most recent response, which I would like to point out to you, not in a spirit of hatred or envy, but because I think you are honestly mistaken about the Blessed Virgin Mary. And you seem to think that the worst plague afflicting America is virgin worship. Now, I don't know where you come up with this. I tried to do a search for virgin worship on the internet and I came up with nothing. I mean, you can find voodoo worship and you can find many other kinds of things like witchcraft, thousands and thousands of entries, but there are zero entries under virgin worship. In fact, I'm going to title this program Virgin Worship just so that there will be at least one entry on the internet under that category. Perhaps the most egregious mistake, however, you make is when you say that the Virgin of Guadalupe is the devil. And by the way, this goes to, uh, I don't know, uh, what is it, Third Eagle of the Apocalypse or whatever your name is, uh, doing your videos against me. Well, I pray that God has mercy on you because you've been deceived. The Virgin de Guadalupe is the devil. You see this right here? You see the plant? It's an image of the face of the devil. Those are the lips, here the eyes are. Every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the creator of heavenly lights. Not like them who cast shifting shadows. There's your eye, there's your other eye, there's your lips, here's the horn, here's the top of the head. So anyway, I could go on and on about this. I've decrypted this image, parts of it, and I put it, I made it available to you guys on YouTube. I really think this whole issue of virgin worship is a straw dog. It's very easy to criticize something that is not occurring. And when you explain that that image of Our Lady of Guadalupe with Juan Diego is a satanic image, you really should tell your subscribers that that is not the authentic Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now here is the true image of the Blessed Mother as given by God to Juan Diego. And you can turn this image upside down or right side up or any way you want to turn it. And there are no satanic images, no images of the devil in it. This is a truly miraculous image. Either every single thing I've done is wrong or the guy from the third eagle of the apocalypse is right. Please don't tell people they have to choose completely between either you or me. And the reason you say that people have to choose between everything you have done or else me is because you know you do have a gift from the Lord. And therefore you are combining the mistakes you make with all the accurate things you have done. And you have made mistakes. For example, you said the Hoover Dam would be blown up on 11-11-11. Now I for one did not criticize you for that. It's very possible that you prevented a false flag event on that date by exposing it ahead of time. But I am just saying that there are some things you can be criticized for. And defaming the Blessed Virgin Mary is a huge error on your part. Don't forget, Mary prophesies in the Bible that all generations will call her blessed. So I have a question for you, Mr. Kleck. Do you call Mary blessed? Virgin worship, I'll say it again, worship to venerate Mary. Mary is a human being. When people call her the mother of God, she's Jesus' earthly mother, but she's not the mother of God that gave birth to God in that sense. She was the vessel from which God entered the world, and there's a huge difference. 
I used to be Catholic, and people getting on their knees and burning incense to the Queen of Heaven. That's who the, the Virgin worships all about. Now, if burning incense to the Queen of Heaven is what Virgin worship is all about, then I don't think you have any worry, Mr. Clegg. I have been a Catholic for 73 years. I have never seen anyone burn incense to the Queen of Heaven. Now, I admit there are about a billion Catholics in the world. There may be abuses somewhere. But when America is burned with fire, that is the Whore of Babylon, is defeated by the Scarlet Beast, that will be for the crime of abortion not for virgin worship. When Catholics pray Mary's Rosary, we are not worshiping the Virgin. We are repeating the words of Scripture, both the words of our Lord through the Archangel Gabriel and through Mary's cousin Elizabeth. And let me give you a little bit of advice. Mary's Rosary is how Jesus has determined that we will defeat the Antichrist. You see the robe coming down right here? See his robe? There it is. There's the top of his head right here. Here's his hair because the Catholic priests have that hairdo where they have the top of their head bald. And then as you come down here and you draw on the watermarks, there's, um, there's his face right in here. But down in here, in this area right here, is an image of a little boy. It's being sexually abused by this Catholic priest right here. And you can tell how this makes a, you can see how that makes a, a hooded robe over a, a body that's standing up. See it? I hope Stephen Colbert or Anderson Cooper do not get a hold of this analysis of the painting when you see a boy being sexually abused when you turn it upside down because they will make you a laughing stock or put you on their ridiculous or something like that just as they did with me when I exposed the sexual imagery found in the Denver International Airport murals. Now I am not claiming this is not an evil image. I bow to your expertise. If you say that there is a devil in the bush or that the garment shows a priest when it's turned upside down or even that there is abuse of a boy in that painting I bow to your analysis. But why should you blame Mary for this evil painting? If you saw an evil painting of Jesus, would you blame Jesus? Of course not. Just because Mary is in this painting, it is not Mary's fault if someone has perverted her image. So anyway, uh, if you go and you pontificate your Christianity, and you people are, are slamming um, a spiritual gift. Well, that's okay. You can take that up with the Lord God. Um, I don't really care. I'm here to do my mission, mission accomplished. Virgin worship, period, is worship of the devil. Now, Mr. Jonathan Kleck, I would like to give you some fatherly advice. I really do believe, and I proclaim to everyone watching this video, that you do have a spiritual gift from the Lord, but you are mistaken about virgin worship, and you do defame the Blessed Virgin Mary. You should concentrate on what the Lord told you. He told you that your enemy was Egypt. Now in this last video, you say your mission is accomplished, that your work is done. I don't believe that for one minute. There are thousands of Egyptian hieroglyphs out there. Many of them, I am sure, have hidden messages which need to be exposed. As I said in my last video, Egypt is part of the Scarlet Beast, not part of Mystery Babylon. And the Scarlet Beast has not been defeated. Please do not give up your mission or think that it is over until the Scarlet Beast is destroyed. And it will be destroyed by Jesus, ultimately, at the Battle of Armageddon. And please let me advise you, the weapon, the primary weapon, which Jesus will use at the Battle of Armageddon in defeating the Antichrist is Mary's Rosary. So in conclusion, Mr. Clack, please don't think that virgin worship is your greatest enemy. Egypt is your enemy, 
please take that enemy on. Don't give up the fight. The Scarlet Beast has not yet been defeated. And if any one of you would like a free copy of my book, Revelation Unravel, I always offer this, and you can either write to the address you see on your screen or send me a message to my YouTube channel.